Hola, my friends. My name is Ruben, and I'm building a better website with Breakdance today. Doing custom forms? No plugin needed. Are you ready? I am. Let's go. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. We're building custom forms today. I don't think I have my OBS set up. Let me take a look right quick. We're about to find out. Nope. Let me select this. I'm tired. <laughs> I've recorded this video six times here. I'm just gonna select it really quick. I think it's this one. Hold on, let me see. I think it's this one, it's this one, this one, right? There it is. There it goes, I apologize for that. I went to lunch and forgot to fix my computer. But I'm back. Let's get started. So we're building custom forms with breakdance. They are a thousand times easier coming out of the box. No plugin needed. Are you ready? So to finish out part three, we need, uh, let me see, let me get my mouse. We need one form. We need two forms and we're going to duplicate this form over to the um, uh, duplicate this form over to the template page recreated in part two. So let's dive into WordPress. I figured out how to do my mouse and how to zoom in for you. So this will be better. So now we're in the back end of the website, the one we built. So first things first, let's go view the site from the front, from the front end. And let's go to the, actually, no, we don't have to scroll down. Let's go actually go to the home, open up breakdance loads amazingly fast and let's scroll down here to the form so once you're in once you have a form in here or you search for a form you can actually build out what you need let me turn the music down just a little bit you can actually do build it out within breakdown so let's find out so the original one let me take a look here has um a name email phone number and the best date and time to contact you so Let's get rid of this. We don't need the message. So we're going to add a phone number. So let's add phone number right here. Change the title to phone number. That's that field. Next thing, a date field. So we'll do a date field. Boom. Best date, best day to contact you and then let's add a time field time time there it goes time best time to contact you oops best time to contact you best day I should I do lowercase or uppercase um I can change this one to lowercase yeah let's do lowercase instead so best, uh, best time to contact you. Okay, we're done. So to customize this form, let's change the typography. Oh, we're not done yet. So um, go to the palette to change things, the design palette and the forms, typography, the labels. She has a custom font for the labels. I love that. Let me see what else she has. Oh, let's adjust the button. Uh, I'm a big fan currently of full width buttons. We can customize it. Let's change the size to large. Let me zoom in here for you. Ooh, did this work? Nope, it didn't work. Hold on. There we go. Zoom in here um, to change it to large. You can change the background color of the button. So let's do her gray. And also, if you hover over, put your mouse over the word background little finger pops up and now you can do the hover action and change it the color there you won't be able to tell on the back end because it's um it only responds on the front end but that's technically it the next thing you have to do is confirm let me zoom back out confirm the actual actions of the email so when i mean actions is what happens when you receive an email right so new contact form from one on one 
a men mentorship one on one mentorship is that his palette man yeah that's right so we're here so a new contact from a uh, form one on one mentorship that's all we need so when she receives an email she knows exactly what came or where the email came from let me get her email address right here i have it on the piece of paper or a notepad so whenever it says whenever i type from i always put no reply um at the domain name so tiffany lopez photo.com and then that's it you're done with this form look how easy it was to adjust this form if you actually know let me do one more thing um here let me zoom in here on i want the best the best day to contact you and the best time to be side by side so the way that works is you click advance the width imagine it being 12 cells is now six you go over to the best time mm, advance and change that to six so now they stack next to each other perfect and that's all i need boom that form's done so let me zoom out doop, doop, zoom out okay now let's go to the book me form uh, let me see here on the, the live website mm, let's have the same information but the day and time let's actually let's let's copy this so click on the form so you actually just control c or right click copy let's delete this one since the styling is almost the same and you can paste the form right underneath it okay so since i do want her to have the same day and time because if you're going to book me right you're more interested or i'm gonna change that book me to contact us contact us because that's what's on the um that's what's on the actual website itself and change that to a h2 okay so now let's add a couple more fields um we're gonna do instagram she wants to know her someone's instagram Inst instagram and um yeah instagram handle and she may want to look at what people's a style is because maybe the styles don't match right then i took a screenshot earlier of did i delete it darn it i think i did it of the actual oops let me move this up um of what i guess there's a list of things she, she does services for let me add that right quick so we're gonna do a select option what kind of oh lowercase what kind of shoot are you looking for option number one it's wedding right so that's option number one option number two let me go ahead to the website option number two is elopements or micro weddings she also does destination weddings but that's not an option here let's see what else she does i'm just looking back and forth a uh, branding family branding branding the next option is family family photo shoots and i think the last option is oh engagement and then other so the next option will be engagement in engagement. And then the last option is other in case one of these don't fit because it could be product shooting, right? People like to take pictures of their products. So the next question and that question is done. So the next question here is, uh, how did you hear about me? So a text label this, how? did you hear about me that's one question and then the last question is a quick 
comment or message since it's only one line i don't need like a big text box right so i'm gonna do because you can do a text text area which is bigger and yeah, that's fine i think that's good so we do a comment or message boom we're done with this form that's how easy it is to build forms in breakdance what i love about it is that you don't leave the builder you don't have to go to the back end. You don't have to click the form, find the form you want, make the changes, come back, style it. So it's all done within the builder. And that's what makes it amazingly fast for me. So um, I do want to add a little bit more padding. Um, no, I think that's fine. I think the padding's are good. Perfect. So now you save it. Let's take a look at the front end. Because remember, we hovered, we made some changes, but you can't tell here on the back end. So let's go to the front end of the website and let's take a look at this. Boom, hover works. You can choose the date. You can choose the time, the best time to call you, the name, email, boom, that works. So I'm not gonna set up the recapture now. I'll do that uh, once the website's on the live server and I can get the domains and it's easier that way. And now the contact us mm, works perfect. So I also created the contact us buttons to scroll down to here. And then the recent work works as well. And it scrolls down here. So the last thing we have to do, um, I'll be 100% honest with you. I actually recorded this entire video, but forgot to hit record on the software. So on the template, I'll delete it here for you. Watch, I'll show you. Uh, where's it at? Um, breakdance. Let's go to templates here on the template itself it may have the form already there yeah oh no no actually i've I reverted it back so what we're going to do is delete this right click on the section above it uh a section you wanted below so you click the one on top um hit add go to libraries select your website select the page you want to bring it from and then now hey, click this button here this yellow button that says add I'm going zoom in here. One, it says add to page. Let me zoom out. So now what I created on the home page that quickly was now added to the template. So what I want to do here is change this background image to pull the actual featured image. Boom. I want to change the background color of the actual div make it a little bit darker. I don't want it to be 100% translucent. Oh, and the styling. So let's change some styling here. Mm. Technically, the form is done, but we can spend hours, not hours, but we can spend a long time styling it. But what I want to do is add a little border and take make the white translucent. So how do I do that? Oh, so click on the form. Um, here it goes the fields background color it's technically white now it's translucent there's a slight gray on it you notice i don't know if you can tell yeah i think you can tell on the video but here we're gonna make the color um this gray and then make it um three pixels perfect and i think now the background is a little too light for me so let me make it a little bit lighter there it goes Perfect. Love this. So let's do the same thing. So copy. You right click copy, hit save, go to the front end, go to the home page, open up the actual template. And then you can paste design. Look how easy it was to move over the designs you created on the other one you can then then here at this point you can make it i think you can make it as, um can you make it uh, you, you can save it as a global block so that means you can move it around and have it as a preset you can bring it into different places if you want to and then you can edit the global block on the back end of breakdance but that's it that's how easy it is to create forms what did it take maybe 10 to 15 minutes half of that was me talking and rambling on the intro but that's how easy it is to create a forms. 
um, I don't know. I don't do very complicated forms, so I'm not the greatest person to maybe maybe see if you need something. I think from basic to it as intermediate, maybe advanced. I don't know. I've never done really high end advanced forms. I don't. I don't do that many advanced form for clients. It's basically like contact us forms with some complexity, with some logic, sometimes with if you answer yes here, then these options appear, but never to the point where I need like a dedicated, um, a dedicated plugin filter, but that's how easy it was to create. So now the site is, I feel like it's 100% and I can make it live. I don't see anything that I'm missing. Um, let me go here let me click on the projects just to make sure triple check i didn't miss anything no it's there perfect i love it and my god that was so easy i recorded this the original video was 30 minutes i don't know how i did it in 15. maybe i talked too much on the last one but anyway my name is Ruben and I appreciate each and every one of you, the comments. So please like, comment, subscribe below. Please tell me if I'm doing an amazing job and if you find value in these videos. And I'm interested in making these videos in Spanish. Tal vez voy a comenzar a hacer estos videos en español. You never know. Stay tuned. More videos are coming soon.